certainly from um, a workforce, um, it, there is definite data um, that our uh, D Division of Public Health maintains um, in looking at workforce shortages, um, even in the behavioral health arena. And certainly Nebraska, most of the counties are experiencing some sort of behavioral health um, clinician challenge and shortage. I also think, and I think one of your questions talked a bit about um, what COVID, um, you know, has um, an impact on um, folks at, wanting or needing to uh, access services as well. From the standpoint of behavioral health, I would say that the pandemic um, certainly with the conditions of isolation and challenges with housing or job or those kinds of things, certainly for individuals that may have challenges or illnesses, um, uh, the pandemic uh, may have exacerbated um, the challenges with their disease, right, with their illness um, for individuals. But we also know that those same factors um, were challenging for individuals that may not have identified with or had been diagnosed or even experienced some challenges with their own mental health or, you know, substance use disorder. So we know that we have had um, individuals new to the system. You can always start with whoever your uh, practitioner is, right, for your physical um, care side. And just like um, if you called and um, you might have heart symptoms, they might say, hey, I think you should see so-and-so, right, as a specialist. Um, or you've been seen by your primary care doctor and they can handle particular um, parts of what you're experiencing, but they still may want some tests or for you to go somewhere else. I think that's the one thing that stigma influences is we don't always start with the doors in the healthcare arena that are natural starting points. You know, one of the opportunities that we have seen um, as uh, easier access that you and I would want is to make sure that in the healthcare doors where we can integrate health, whether it is um, behavioral health within a physical care setting or a behavioral health setting and we have physical care and there's all kinds of models if we can get our system to have more of those integrated opportunities, wherever you go in the door, there's an opportunity to be able to get services or at least those initial concerns, right, or symptoms addressed. I think that there's been more conversation, at least from my experience, the pandemic and COVID has provided an opportunity, not necessarily just because people are experiencing challenges, but just talking about the wellness and the well-being part of having all these factors and unique circumstances impact my, you know, my usual way of um, addressing life. And so I feel like mental health and substance use have had an opportunity to be um, talked about more, um, to be uh, talking about wellness, to be talking about strategies we all can use um, on the wellness and well-being continuum.